All right, so basically what you're going to want to know here is that these Pokemon are all level 35. And you get at least varying from around 600 to 1,500 experience points. If you get a mill tank, you'll, get, you'll always get 1,000 experience points, I think, or 1,500 experience points every time you destroy them or defeat them. And if you get if you go up against a Ditto, make sure you let them transform first, because when you beat a Ditto and uh, it transforms into one of your Pokemon, you'll, you'll get more, much more experience for it. So yeah, that's basically it, man. That's how you get over there. Just wanted to help you out. This will get you ready for the Pokemon League, just in case you're planning on going up against the Elite Four. So uh, there you have it. So much experience we get here. Yeah, 470. Yeah, it's not a lot, but uh, yeah. Let me let me try and I need to get a mill tank for you. So a mill tank will give you a crap load of experience. And that's another gloom. The glooms give you a lot too because they're an evolved form. There's one flamethrower. Nine hundred and three experience. It's a lot, especially if you're in the level thirties. Uh, this will help you a lot. I mean, my Charizard is level fifty-seven, so of course it's not much of an increase. Yeah, and it's always, 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 when you get a Ditto, let it transform first. Especially if it's a higher level, you'll get a crap load of experience. That's why I'm using Fire Spin first, just in case I might faint. Yeah, be careful though. I mean, uh. Dittos, they do have uh, the item Quake Powder, or Bright Powder, whichever it is, and basically what that does is, is it, it makes Ditto go first most of the time, so you'll have a hard time taking it out. Yeah, see, I went first that time. Yeah, this isn't good. Let's try something else. Yeah, playing those barely getting to do anything to my ride on. And what do you know? You're gonna witness me level up. So anyway, Kenny, that's about it. I'm trying to get a mill taken for you, man. Show you how much EXP you get out of that. Yeah, it's just another far-fetched. Man, I don't know what's going on. I can't get a single mill tank in for you today. I'm going to keep trying, though. Please let this be a mill tank. Ah, whatever. I give up. Well, anyways, yeah, mill tank give you, they give you 1,000 to 1,500 EXP. Let's try a different move this time. But anyways, yeah, this is a secret hiding place I've been telling you about. I don't know how to explain you to get there in words, so made this video for you, man. <laughs> it's gonna go on YouTube. I hope nobody watches this, cause uh, I was just making this so that you can see. But uh, you'll see that this is a really great spot, cause all the Pokemon are around level 30 or 35. Here we go, Mill Tank, level 35. Look at that. Uh, the bad thing about the mill tanks is that it's going to be using uh, the charm or whatever, or not charm, but some kind of move that I forgot what it's called that makes you makes your uh, special attack go really really low. Yeah, that that or it's going to use rollout repeatedly. 
But I think it has a ground move, so I'm gonna use Magnet Rise just so it can't hurt me. There we go. Yeah, it's just gonna keep using Roll Out. Nothing to worry about. Alright, Thunder Mist. Alright, I'm not gonna risk Thunder Missing again, so I'm gonna switch over to another Pokemon. Yeah, Captivate, that's what it's called. It makes your special attack go sharply down. Or harshly, sorry. But that doesn't matter, because, uh... My Umbreon is a physical attacker. Yeah, it's paralyzed, alright. So, faint attack. And it should go down and wrong. Okay, never mind. But, uh, I could use Psychic, but I like using Faint Attack because it looks cool. Psychic move isn't hurt dark. Um, I used one of those power bands or whatever, so I made my Umbreon really strong in special attack. Yeah, look at that. Well, the reason it's... See, look, the reason it's 900 is because I switched to two Pokemon. That was a good idea. But, uh, there you have it, Kenny. That's how you get to that spot.